The Made in Britain sale showcases that there is and should be no hierarchy in what we collect. You should have paintings next to prints, next to ceramics. These are artists and makers who knew each other, who lived together, who married each other and divorced each other. It's like a soap opera in art form. The modern British art scene is an incredibly exciting and diverse field. It features paintings, works on paper, prints, photographs, studio ceramics and design. The Made in Britain cell features a fantastic selection of contemporary photographs. Chris Levine's Banksy is one of the most exciting featured in the sale. By photographing the back of Banksy's head, one of Britain's most sought after and controversial artists. He challenges the way in which we traditionally perceive portraiture. Like Chris Levine, Marcus Lyon is one of the leading contemporary British photographers. He was commissioned by Rombert Dance Company to do a series of photographs relating to their dances. A very interesting photograph in that it captures the entire dance within a single frame, a great sense of movement and colour. And moving back, we have some earlier works featuring from the post-war period, uh, including Patrick Heron's work from the 1970s. He uses colour to tell a story with his beautifully bright, zingy compositions. Um, they're incredibly engaging. Studio ceramics form a really important part of the Made in Britain sale. Dame Lucy Ree created these beautifully stunning and technically very advanced thrown porcelain, stoneware and earthenware vessels, of which the emerald green bowl that we have from 1987 is a very fine example. Jennifer Lee is one of the most popular and sought after contemporary ceramicists working in Britain at the moment. Unlike Lucy Ree, who throws on the wheel, all of Lee's pieces are hand built and they take an incredibly long time to make, resulting in only a few pieces each year. This work that we have coming up is one of the biggest and most exciting works by her ever to appear at auction. Henry Moore worked in so many different mediums. The seated woman with a seated figure in the background dating from the 1940s showcases Moore's skill as a draftsman, the way he uses the line to create the female form. This March in Made in Britain we are celebrating the influence that Kettle's Yard and its founder Jim Ead has had. Here he displayed his growing collection of what was at the time the best in the contemporary British art scene. Winifred Nicholson paints her daughter, Kate, in Alerta in the south of France. The palette is so beautifully crisp and soft, it shows Winifred's skill with colour. Made in Britain truly offers something for every collector at every level. This art was designed to be lived with, designed to be seen, designed to be enjoyed. It's important to have works of art that you love, that you can live with.